All right, welcome to the 2021 NCAA Softball Stillwater Regional Pre-Tournament Press Conference. I'm joined here now by Coach Ashley Waters and catcher and infielder Nicole Amodio of Boston University, uh, who enters the tournament with a 36-2 and overall record and competes as a three seed for just the second time in school history. Uh, so if we could start off with a quick opening statement from each of you, just what are your thoughts on, on being here? I think we're excited to be here. I think we hope every single year this is where we end up. So obviously for us, it's it's really difficult to have, um, you know, it, well, we need the automatic bid, right? So it's it's really tough for us to obviously get within that top 25 and, and have a chance to make it on our own. So um, I think just coming in the end, like knowing that we have to play our best ball from the end of the season. And um, I think for, for this year, it was really challenging not having the preseason we usually have. So trying to work on things within a very small window in a very small season to make adjustments was certainly difficult. But um, I think when you end up here and you have a championship, you know, you, you, you did the best you could at that point. And for us, it's just a matter of making waves and, and trying to actually do something here. I think we've made the regionals, obviously, you know, four out of my six years. And I think for us, we haven't had a chance to really kind of leave a mark or, or, or make something happen. So I think that's the goal this year. Yeah, um, I think this is what we work all year towards. I think that this is always our goal. We always want to get here, win a championship, get that automatic bid. Um, and then our goal is to make some noise here, see what we can do, see the damage that we can do here. Um, so this is what we work all year for. We're super excited to be here and we uh, can't wait to see what happens. Excellent. And then for each of you too, just as you kind of reflect on this season, what's what's maybe one or two things that sticks out that they can really credit your success to in, in reaching this point? I mean, I can say from my perspective, we haven't had one COVID case the entire year. So I think awesome. we're the only team, um, at least within our institution, that was able to um, avoid getting it and, and having, you know, contact tracing and, and kind of losing people. So I think just the discipline and sacrifice that these kids made is probably the most impressive attribute this year. So the records, the awards, all that stuff is great, but to look at their selflessness and the fact that they kind of took care of themselves and one another, that's pretty special. It's something that I'll walk away with being like, okay, that's, that's a special group of young kids that can do that. Yeah. And I think um, one thing that has really made us successful so far this year is our team chemistry. I think that um, every day it's another chance to be together and that's what we uh, love to have. We were, you know, having school online and things like that, but when we got out to practice, we got to be together and I think that that was a great thing and I think that led to some great chemistry and we love to be out there together and I think that really makes us successful out there. Great. Uh, how much have you gotten to see uh, on your opening opponent and, and what do you expect to see from Mississippi State tomorrow? So Mississippi State has big bats. I think they started the year off a little bit rough and then they certainly turned it up at the end of their SEC play. So, um, you know, fortunately for us, they, they certainly get a lot of airtime and have been on TV quite a bit or ESPN quite a bit. So um, a lot of video footage, a lot of home, home run footage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, so I think for them, just a matter of, I think for us, we're just going to try to, you know, put the ball in play, make things happen and make them have to make plays. And um, they certainly swing a good bat and, and they've, they've progressed and gotten themselves to a really good spot. So I think for us, it's certainly going to be a challenge. I think anyone in the SEC that plays that type of schedule is, is certainly going to have the upper hand, but we're a pretty scrappy bunch. So I'm um, hoping our resiliency kind of shows through. Excellent. Nicole, what are your thoughts on Mississippi State? Um, yeah, I think we love any opportunity to play a team in Power Five and especially SEC. Our team loves that challenge. Um, so for sure, we've definitely watched a lot of video, done a little bit of scouting, kind of changed our defense around a little bit to try and uh, work with that power hitting that they definitely have. But uh, we're definitely going to do what we can on our end to uh, play around a little bit, get some people on, manufacture some runs. So we're really excited. Great. And then you just won another uh, Patriot League championship. And so obviously uh, you played great ball all season, but but especially with how you closed the season and coming off uh, that final stretch there, what do you think you did well and what do you think you can carry into this tournament? I think towards the end, I think we started to play like more cohesive and together as a unit. I think throughout the beginning of the season, and just getting used to one another, I think we had people playing in parts, right? So someday it'd be the top of the order, the other day it'd be like the bottom of the order, sometimes the middle of the order. And I felt like for us, like we didn't really, we were trying to find that stretch of having one through nine really contribute. Um, and I think towards the end, we started to play just better softball, right? We started to play cleaner games. Um, but I think offensively, it was a matter of, we were manufacturing runs one through nine. So different people contributing. I think that that obviously for any coach is gonna tell you, it's gonna be getting people on and timely hitting. Um, so I think for us, our discipline and just having better at bats towards the end, obviously kind of propel us through the tournament. And then of course, if you have Allie Dubois on the mound, I think Allie obviously knows how to win. She finds a way to win and she's a pretty crafty pitcher. So, um, you know, with her generating some weak outs and ground balls and strikeouts, I mean, obviously for us, the defense making plays, it's a, it's a good recipe for us when you have her on the mound and we have the offense kind of clicking. 
about from a player's perspective, Nicole? Um, yeah, absolutely. I think one phrase that we always say is pass the bat. And I think towards the end of the season, that's something that we really were able to do. I think one through nine, our hitters um, are definitely a tough out. And I think that's something that we're really proud of. Um, I think that our defense definitely is coming together, one person stepping up for each other. And I think that's really important. But uh, overall, I think our pitching staff has really come together and I think that they can help each other out. And I think that's a great thing to see towards the end of the season. Um, everybody being there for each other, I think offense and defense um, has definitely come together towards the end. And that's that's definitely been a great part of our championship. Excellent. And then we'll close with just one final question for you, Coach. Just what is your final message to the team uh, tonight and tomorrow morning heading in, heading into the last this game? I mean, I think first is just the fact that I'm like so incredibly proud of them for getting to this point. You know, I think that any head coach can tell you in any sport that this was probably the most challenging year of our lives. Um, you know, to go home every weekend and have to worry about the test results. And these kids are getting tested twice a week. And, you know, I think for us, like it was just a constant um, anxiety or stress or there was, there was just always this feeling that whatever they were doing was so incredible and could stop, right? And, and we had no control over that. And I think the fact that, um, they made it here and we've had obviously all negative test results and, and they've been, you know, so incredibly disciplined to me. It's, I mean, that's a championship mindset, you know, kids who, who want to win more than they want to go out or hang out with friends or see their family. So I think the sacrifice you sacrifice for, for what you really want. And obviously for them, it was to get to this position. So for me, it's, Hey, think about what you've done to get here now go out and enjoy it. Um, you know, I think for us, it's going to be certainly going to be a challenge, but, um, it's about having each other's back and, and, you know, what we've done to even be in this moment. So you got to look around and enjoy the moment. So whether it's the other team, the fans, whatever, right. You got to take all those pieces and put it together and just be like, this is pretty special. So um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm just incredibly proud of them. It's, it's, it's been a different year, but this is a pretty special group that I, I think I'll always remember for maybe this reason alone is, is how incredible they were off the field. Great stuff. Well, well, thank you both very much and best of luck tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you.